again god bless everybody uh, i just wanted to share with you uh, uh something that the lord had had shown me some time ago amen um growing up growing up in the church amen uh I was seven. I was about seven years old when my mom and my dad got saved, uh, and uh, they started taking me to church. You know, from a young age, uh, I grew up. I grew up with uh, Sunday school. I grew up being dragged to services and to to alantias and to uh, prayer meetings, Bible studies. Amen. Uh, uh, for my own good, amen, but but through that, I was able to witness, amen, a lot. I was able to see God's hand at work, amen. Uh, I witnessed altar calls, amen. I witnessed lives being uh, lives being touched by the Lord, amen. I, I, witnessed, I witnessed chains, amen, chains being broken, amen. I witnessed in my own family the chains of addiction being broken, amen. I've witnessed God's hand moving, amen. I grew up watching it, amen. And when I, as I grew up, Amen, as 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 the lure of the of the world came calling, Amen, as the hurts of the world came, Amen, I began to drift away from the things of God, Amen. Uh, I even began to doubt that there even was a God, Amen. After witnessing, after being able to see God's hand move, Amen, in my own family's life, Amen, I began to to let that gap. Amen. I began to doubt. Amen. And it's something that um, that I keep in mind with my own children. Amen. And, and with our own young people. Amen. Young people, you were you were witness, you were witness to the gospel. Amen. To the new gospel. Amen. You were witness to the healing power of God. Amen. You were witness to the peace and to the joy that comes of, from a life serving God. Amen. You were witness to it. Amen. And that's faith, amen? That is faith being grown in you and in my own children, amen? And it brings a story of the gospel, amen? It brings a, uh, it brings a story from the gospel of Luke to mind, amen? And it's something that, that, the, that the Lord has shown me and has opened my understanding to... to strengthen my own strength to strengthen my own faith amen and i want to share i want to share a little bit of it with you uh and hopes that it would encourage you amen or 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 to help you amen uh and with that i'm going to read out of the book of out of the book of mark amen i'm going to be reading out of the book of mark Chapter 6, amen. This is a well-known story, amen. Um, some of you may know it. For some, it may be something fresh. But I hope that it sparks, amen. I hope that it would stir something in you to read more of the gospel, amen. To, to, to delve deeper into God's word, amen. And it's in the book of Mark, chapter 6, verse 30. The apostles returned to Jesus from their ministry tour and told him all that they had done and taught. Then Jesus said, Let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. He said, he said this because there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his apostles didn't even have time to eat. So they left by boat for a quiet place where they could be alone. But many people recognized them and saw them leaving. And people from many towns ran ahead along the shore, along the shore, and got there ahead of them. Jesus saw the huge crowd as he stepped from the boat, and he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Late in the afternoon, his disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place. And it is already getting late. Send the crowds away so that they can go to the nearby farms and villages and buy something to eat. But Jesus said, 
You feed them. With what? They asked. We'd have to work for months to earn enough money to buy food for all these people. How many bread, how much bread do you have? He asked. Go and find out. They came back and reported. We have five loaves of bread and two fish. Then Jesus told the disciples to have the people sit down in groups on the grass. So they sat down in groups of 50 or 100. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up toward heaven and blessed them. Then, breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread to the disciples so they could distribute it to the people. He also divided the fish for everyone to share. They all ate as much as they wanted. And afterwards, the disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftover bread and fish. A total of 5,000 men and their families were, fret, were fed from those loaves. Amen. So we find, we find Jesus, amen, giving a sermon. And he has compassion on the people, amen. And he wants to feed them. Amen. It's 5,000 people. And he wants to feed them. And he asked his disciples, he asked his disciples to feed them. And they say, with what? And they find, they find and search five loaves and two fish. Amen. So Jesus takes these five loaves and these two fish and he looks up to heaven and he blesses the meal. Amen. He blesses the meal and he just starts dishing it out. Amen. He just starts, he just starts feeding everybody. It says, that they were all able to eat. Amen. They all have seconds and thirds. Amen. And that everybody is fed. They all have enough to eat. Not only do they have enough to eat, but there's leftovers. Amen. Because that's how, that's what God does. Amen. And it says a total of 5,000 men and their families eat that day. Off of five loaves and two fish. Amen. Now let's move down to chapter 8. Amen. About this time, another large crowd gathered, and the people ran out of food again. Jesus called the disciples and told them, I feel sorry for these people. They have been here with me for three days, and they have nothing left to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will faint along the way, for some of them have come a long distance. His disciples replied, How are we supposed to find enough food to feed, feed them out here in the wilderness? Jesus asked, how much bread do you have? Seven loaves, they replied. Amen. You know, a lot of times when we're in need, amen, a lot of times when we're in need, we already have what we need. Amen. A lot of times when we go to ask God, Lord, I need this, I need that. He says, you know what? You already have it. You just need to delve into it. Amen. He just wants us to come to him. Amen. Amen. He just wants us to come to Him. And He'll point it out to us what we need, amen. What we're lacking, amen. What we need to strengthen our lives, amen. It's already, we're already equipped with it, amen. When He wanted to feed the 5,000, there was already five loaves of bread, amen. There was already two fish. He just had to open up their understanding. The disciples just had to get the understanding, amen. Here again, Jesus says, we need to feed these people. And the disciples, they, they questioned, with what? How are we going to feed them way out here in the boonies? And, he, and God says, and Jesus asks them, how much bread do we have? And they reply, you know what? We have seven loaves. There's 4,000 people at this gathering. And they reply, we have seven loaves. Chapter, verse 6. So Jesus told all the people to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves, thanked God for them, and broke them into pieces. He gave them to his disciples who distributed the bread to the crowd. A few small fish were found too. So Jesus also blessed these and told the disciples to distribute them. Amen. They ate as much as they wanted. Amen. They ate as much as they wanted. Afterward, 
the disciples picked up seven large baskets of leftovers. There were about 4,000 people in the crowd that day. And Jesus sent them home after they had eaten. Amen. Immediately after this, they got into the boat. He got into the boat with his disciples and crossed over to the region of Dalmanatha. Amen. So he feeds the 5,000. Amen. He feeds the 5,000 with five loaves of bread and two fish. Amen. And 12 baskets of leftovers. Amen. And the disciples are seeing this. Amen. Their first hand witness account. Amen. Again, here in chapter 8, he feeds another 4,000. Amen. With seven loaves of bread. And he finds two fish. Amen. And it says that there are seven large baskets of leftovers. Amen. Everybody has enough to eat and there are leftovers. Amen. Because that's what God is in. God is in the business of providing for us. Amen. Of watching over us. Our shepherd. Amen. And he's done it. Amen. Now the disciples here, they've seen something. Amen. They've seen it twice now. Amen. Me in my own life. Amen. I was able to see I was able to see firsthand God's deliverance of people, amen, of my own family, amen, delivering my own, my own immediate family, amen, delivering my mom, my dad, my brother, my sisters, my cousins, amen, amen, I was seeing it, amen, and then when I went through my own struggle, when I went through my own battle with addiction, amen, I had already seen it done, amen, but I doubted it could be done for me, but he already fed the 5,000, and I seen him feed another 4,000, if I seen him deliver them, I know he can deliver me. Amen. So move with me down here in chapter 8 to verse to chapter to verse 14. Amen. This is afterwards. Amen. The disciples have already seen him do it twice. Amen. But the disciples had forgotten to bring any food. They had only one loaf of bread with them in the boat. As they were crossing the lake, Jesus warned them, "Watch out." Beware the yeast of the Pharisees and of Herod. At this, they began to argue with each other because they hadn't brought any bread. Because they hadn't brought any bread, amen. They start to doubt, amen. I don't have enough in the fridge, Lord. My hours get cut, Lord. You know, I know you blessed me with the job before, Lord. You know, but now they're cutting back hours, Lord. I don't know, you know. I can't find toilet paper, Lord, at the, at the grocery store. You know, how the enemy, you see, how the enemy tries to come in and put those seeds of doubt in us, amen? Beware the yeast of the Pharisees, amen? Jesus knew what they were saying, so he said, Why are you arguing about having enough, about having no bread? Don't you know and understand even yet? Are your hearts too hard to take it in? You have eyes. Can't you see? You have ears. Can't you hear? Don't you remember anything at all? That's what, he told, that's what God told me. Brother Mikey, don't you remember anything before? Don't you remember how I blessed you with that job? Amen. Don't you remember how I blessed you with a place to live? Amen. And you doubt? Don't you remember anything at all? When I fed the 5,000 with the five loaves of bread, how many baskets of leftover did you pick up afterwards? Twelve, they said. And when I fed the 4,000, and when I fed the 4,000 with seven, seven loaves, how many baskets, how many baskets of leftovers did you pick up? Seven, they said. Don't you yet understand, he asked them. Amen. Amen. That God is in the business, He is in the business of providing for us, amen? If He did it once, He'll do it again, amen? If He delivered them, He'll deliver us, amen? If He came back once, He's going to come back again, amen? Amen? With that, with that, I'm going to close, amen? I don't want this video to run too long, amen? I hope this message finds you all, amen? Uh,